Chapter 19. The chemical processes of the biological activity of the vice unit integrating plasma matter. It is not life that concerns us, but the evolution of its forms through nature. Of its form, we repeat, not so that it can be understood in that portentous picture but in the clear and precise idea of what changes in the protoplasmic background is that the way in which this plasma pro progresses through evolution is not, as has been believed until now, an absolute function, as in life itself manifested, but rather that physical state with which the biological matter, the supreme plasma, is transformed. It contains itself to the extent of its mass as a fixed type at each evolutionary instant. The mass, the interior state, is what changes within the infinite framework of energy in all its manifestation. Here with the simple outline of these words is the great biological problem, the unit contributing, contributing to itself, the elements of its environment from our own flesh perhaps, as a mechanical contribution of the great kinetics of the great of the great kinetics of the field that contain it in the measure of a physical need included in the relativistic train of natural processes. In the process of biological transmutation, discovered by the eminent Dr. Ferran, we have a classic example of our assertion or at least it serves to shed some light on the understanding of these cosmic phenomena, within which and maybe without the wise man realizing it, there is the true explanation of transmutability and the complement of this theory within a complete cycle not thought of by him. But it is the case for what concerns us now that from epsilon to the beta type in which the tuberculosis bacillus is contained and from this which is the one with the greater with the greatest acid resistance until returning to epsilon by a descending path we have a complete biological cycle a process of effective transmutation within the apparent framework of life within this cycle alpha does not subsist by itself but comes from epsilon and as something that goes towards beta in a natural process being epsilon. It is logical and effective reality of what was alpha after having gone through the beta form and descended into a negative process of acid resistance. As you can see, the entire history of alpha is linked between epsilon and beta. It is that the generic eternity in which the innumerable species of the same biological cycle are contained is manifested by each point of this as life and the complexity of the type that had the constant need of its past that is to be again what was and this order to be generated by what subsequently follows this is the natural evolution contained in a very extremely hyperbolic field generated by the infinity of simple and compound bodies that have dynamically combined with each other to determine the plasma of life. Within the multiple and varied inter-hyperbolic spaces of this complexity, there are, like the stars, planets, and satellites of a very extremely slow universe, the biological corpuscles, corp corpuscles the electronic modalities corresponding to an entire complete cycle of life. Here's the plasmatic unit, that is, the living matter specifically signified by the intrinsic form of the moment. Any heat process is enough and sufficient to transmute the alpha form into beta, or any other virtualized species within the same generic circle that concerns us. Transmutation within the absolutely negative process has no bisection or disparity. This only occurs at the upper vertex of the plasma wave when it gives a positive reaction. See the appendix to this chapter. As can be seen, any species of the Ferranian genus carries the element of its own history embedded in each other. In the beginning,
beginning of its ascending or descending transmutation, as what changes in the protoplasmic background in the infinite process of its evolution. But what is living matter? What is the peculiar character? It is enough to complete the biological concept of that plasma to say that this is the same inert matter dynamically contained as a nascent state, preserved to the same extent as a natural physiognomy. The nascent state, we repeat, as the only resource that nature has to preserve itself within the spontaneous dynamic as the indispensable physical principle of all biological activities. It is an act of gravitation without, the st without that static term with which, the with which the molecular building ends in compound bodies in mineralogical chemistry. This combination is not wonderful, but a common fact within the common plane of events. The favorable elements of the environment are ingested gravitationally into the microbial body. This act will produce a heat process by which the ingested elements adapt to the field. The effect is, according to the chemical processes studied above, unavoidable in the entire hyperbolic plot a cosmic disturbance of it and consequently a modification of the intramicrobial dynamics. This slow and continuous action finally produces a change of type, a new morphology, a microbe or bacteria which, whatever it may be, a more active, more serious form marked without a doubt due to the more intense state due to a more intense state or better acid resistance than the previous one. Within this process or train of transmutation, there is a moment perhaps the most interesting that culminates with the adult type to the extent that the organic environment or histological plot allows it. The adult represents therefore a job fully realized and that and the cosmic limit of intraplasmic hyperbolic spaces, the highest microbial density. It is, finally, the end of a dynamic period through which all intraplasmic elements find themselves in, the, in their greatest and closest proximity throughout the fabric that contains them. At this moment, a slower centrifuge begins, a hyperbolic amplitude due to the two simultaneous events, the maximum incompatibility of the times and so that hyperbolic action produces an orbital imbalance of the planetary energy and a moving away from the plasmic center plasmatic center due naturally to the translation of the former on the respective orbits at the end of this process the largest volume of the entire plot is fulfilled with it, and with it there is no doubt a plasmatic wave it is, in a word, an inverse action. The new geometric forms engendered by the maximum incompatibility of times determined, as is natural, specific lines such as certain exotic channels of the field, or disadapted from it, have to follow a dynamic of the same direction and sense of those, that is, sui generis, geodesics as a static current determined by that cosmic unevenness of spaces. The acceleration, therefore, will be fulfilling from the large area to the most serious, from the largest area to the most serious, or what is the same from the center to the periphery of the microbial field. It is a force for all this law or natural obligation that the bacteriological mass in this moment is isolated from the medium by that centrifugation or reverse gravitation. Those that were free at the moment of organic decomposition emerge or appear before classical science, and before the clear light of pure empiricism as products elaborated in the microbial depths by the greatest mystery of life. They are toxins. There are toxins. In the process of transmutation, 
the intramicrobial facts and effects within a complete cycle or wave are not verified except within a time that far exceeds that of life, the duration of a man, and who knows, of many human generations. Cautious bacillus, the beta type, is an adult that, as is known, occupies the upper vertex of the plasma wave. The anti-beta forms, the dangerous ones, by the way, they represent the most active, most gravitational type. And for all this, they express a more acute, morbid state for the patients. That is, the anti-beta morphology in its various degrees of approach towards the positive vertex of the plasma wave represent, without a doubt, the death of the environment, i.e. exhaustion. Once this period has been completed, bacteriological bisection is imposed due to the necessity of the dynamics of the intramicrobial mass at the supreme moment of its greatest density. It is understood from all of the above that negative acid resistance is not and cannot be the only particular or specific character of vaccines. It is also concluded that in the medium sown with antibetas, that is, in a period free of tuberculosis, the anti-alpha vaccine should not be injected. Because although these two forms are very far apart, they contribute to each other because both are, each one of its own measures, very active to the destruction of the natural organic environment. Therefore, the vaccine is not an its own author agrees on this curative. However, there are still two other questions as if there were two questions open to nature. Will they be preventative? And if so, what does this mean for future humanity? If in a period free of tuberculosis, the anti-alphas are active, it is clear then that in an environment sown with anti-alphas, the ascending or positive anti-betas do not cease to have their morbid action. It therefore seems logical to understand that the vaccine is not preventative. The fact is that the radicals of histological origin ingested by an anti-flick anti -flick field only differ by a quantum from those absorbed, frankly, by a tuberculosis field. That's to say, the action of the former does not in any way distort the organic field for the morbidity of the latter, because in truth, both the anti-alphas and the anti-betas have, in different degrees of intensity, the same dynamic, the same dynamocentripetal action on the same time on the same tissues or histological plot. There is no reason to think otherwise, especially if one takes into account that the intramicrobial centripetal is a gravitational fact that occurs, very slowly and calmly in the midst of the general histology of the viscera. The phenomenon is most beautiful, a decomposition of organic tissues but a slow and continuous decomposition through intraplasmatic centripetal action by which the radicals of those are slowly and continuously separated from their compounds. The works are, for all this, on the same subject and in different degrees of intensity and time. That is why we have said that the action of the former does not distort in any way the organic environment or field for the morbidity of the latter. It is not very risky then to assure that Ferran's vaccine has no preventative action against tuberculosis. On the other hand, when inoculating an inferior type, an anti-alpha for example, we have the initial moment of a plasma wave that will have to be fulfilled through a successive series of histological means. This in effect and necessity of the intradynamic changes of its own planetary energy will transmute within the vaccinated medium to a certain degree marked by the fertility of man. At 
This time, the microorganisms, however, or despite their progress acquired, migrate from the primitive environment, from the lung, for example, to the genitourinary zone to reappear in the new procreated humanity to be able to continue its plasmatic transformation, the complete fulfillment of a half wave within the naturally necessary time. This act, the microbial emigration, is an intimately suspicious fact of life, since it seems to be an instinctive act with some very remote beginning of consciousness. However, by thinking further and better, we will be able to destroy this act as a fact carried out by the great mystery of microbial life. These microorganisms are sometimes not solidly located on the diseased viscera, and are, for this reason, many of them dragged by the blood flow like a vehicle that takes them through the entire histological plot of the general organism. Emigration, then, is true, but not spontaneous. Furthermore, the most likely time for the torrent of blood to tear through them from their moment of rest is, without a doubt, one of those moments in which the dynamo centripetal has reached within time a degree of intensity sufficient enough to determine an instant as the terms of a complete detachment of the histological radical. From the first moment the anti-alphas are inoculated, they can be frankly lodged in the genitourinary area. But there is a big difference, however, in that and that is that the forms coming from the lungs, as can be seen from that we've said in the previous chapter, from what we've said in the previous chapter, are more intense than those of absolute, of absolutely negative acid resistance. The upward progress through the pulmonary route is more dangerous from future humanity. What seems impossible at first glance is that a microbial form of the genus in question with positive acid resistance is harmless to the genital environment that houses it. That is easily explained. The genital area must be, has to be, of a more intense and solid chemical tightness than is appropriate for intramicrobial centripetal action, or at least equal to it. The alpha type or any ascending form not so much that it exceeds the limit of the chemical compression can then follow the pr processes of its internal dynamics within that area as if it were a case, especially if one of those accounts, one of those accounts that the volume of the intrinsic form that concerns us in the ascending direction is becoming smaller and smaller. From this, it follows that a regressive type kept inside that wonderful case either attacks the medium and destroys it slowly or on the contrary the medium triumphs over it because it is a reap of moment intraplasmic energy and its planetary train triumph because it it will reap a moment without a doubt that the volume of the intramicrobial form does not have enough space for the development of the intraplasmic energy in its plat planetary train. The collisions then of this energy with the histological environment interrupt that dynamic and the plasma of the living matter or rather the nascent state ceases with a static term to the same extent as the inert matter do without a doubt to the combinations and mixtures that may have an effect at the supreme moment when that intraplasmic dynamic is interrupted. It seems then that within the genital area there is a volume limit for those microcosms beyond with which a specific limit cannot be exceeded so that the transmutation can take effect through future humanity. Any form or species inferior to the anti-alpha type determines by itself a state of or pre-tuberculosis virtualized by the slowness of the intramicrobial centripetal. The 
histological detachments are verified by these species very slowly and so and so much so that the total work ends between two very close forms in the lower part of the ascending branch. While this is done, the tissues dilate and the detachments are in minimal proportion. It is a suspicious or apparently pre-tuberculosis pre condition. This bacillus and its derived forms do not need cellular secretion. See the following paragraph and can work directly on the entire histological plot of the general organism. There are many kinds then of tuberculosis. It all depends on the environment or viscera of your accommodation. From all that has been said, it follows as a very legitimate consequence what the true therapeutics for morbid diseases must be. Calcification, for example, is a good precedence because this substance lime envelops the entire microbial form burying it within a smaller space is appropriate for its energetic dynamics the transformation of plasma into inert matter is in this case inevitable there are however morbid diseases that can be avoided through preventative vaccines these diseases do not involve a microbial inv invasion as is specific and peculiar to them no, that all these diseases depend on cellular growth as the conductive organic medium. This secretion is therefore a precondition as necessary for the intramicrobial dynamics of certain species whose centripetal potentiality is lower than the intensity of chemical solidity of the histological radicals. It is a previralist state characterized by the presence of that organic secretion. The specific microcosms of these secreted mediums reach their maximum degree of transmutation very quickly and in such a peculiar way. Or their cycle is so short that the human in vitam adult is produced very soon. And then the medium is completely exhausted and the microcosm is harmless in the presence of the tissues. But it happens, and that, and this is what is serious in this case, that in the environment there are, as can be deduced from this, from experience, species of a different genus or cycle characterized by a very potent centripetal, very intense naturally accommodating those accommodating to those secretions as a favorable means of accommodation for them. Take, micro, take microorganisms whose gravitational centripetal or interior kinetics is very intense, but in relation to that medium or cellular secretion, because despite this or despite that potential, their energy dynamics is not sufficient for histological detachments and they lack this force even at the upper vertex of their own plasma wave. They are therefore in direct contact with the tissues, harmless, but lodged in that secretion they consume it, and with this they increase their mass. They become more intense so that, so that the internal dynamics reach a degree of intensity sufficient for the good effect of those histological works. Here then begins morbidity, consequently the acute state of the patients. However, from this it follows that when these microorganisms at the upper vertex at the end of the disease are bisected, they are determined in their own type and consequently are distorted, are distorted to characterize the morbidity that they have produced. Understand well what in the course of this work is understood as morbidity. Then, if by heat energy or laboratory procedures, the return of this microcosm, the return of this microorganism to the lower vertex of the plasma wave is determined, a specific type is generated as if it were with an ordinary or classical bacteriology of attenuated virulence. 
These are injected in a quantum or quality as large as possible so that, so that each injected unit receives a dividend so insignificant that it barely influences the increase intramicrobial mass. Intramicrobial mass. The medium is completely consumed and the individual remains immunized, immunized for some time or until new cellular secretions appear. Here let it be said, in conclusion, since this chapter is already leaving the great cosmological zones to enter the field of medicine, how it is possible in the, in the case at hand that the same microorganism capable of producing the disease, when that secretion invades by millions, is enough to avoid it. It is a case of nature in which it applies to its own principle of Similia, similibus, curantur.